Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to feature this awesome high-tech infrared rat trap. I've also caught mice and squirrels with it, so it's a pretty effective rodent trap in general. I purchased this under the brand name Black Cat. It came out of Asia. It has some uh, characters on there that I can't read, but overall a really good trap. Before I show you this one, I want to avoid any confusion. Around the world, there's a lot of different rodent traps that are sold under the brand name Black Cat. This one comes out of Germany. It's a snap trap in the shape of a cat. It has a little cat face there and big teeth and uh, it comes down and snaps the rodents. I'll do a review on this trap soon. Here's one that's a vintage trap. It's a choker. I featured these before with wooden chokers. This one's made out of black uh, Bakelite plastic. This was sold under the Victor brand and uh, it's also called Black Cat. Here's a recent one I just featured. It's under the Black Cat name too and this came out of India. It's one of the most powerful snap traps that I've used for catching rats and squirrels and a very good trap, highly recommended for killing larger rodents. But this is a kill trap and this is a live animal trap. So we'll feature this one today. Now the way this works is that it has infrared sensor right here and a little hood that comes down when something trips that. When that comes down, it catches the animal alive and uh, they come through this little hole and uh, enter into this one way back cage. And when they do that, it will reset the hood and come up and then you can catch another one so you can fill this cage with rodents. Now you place this just the right distance away from a wall that the rodents will come through and uh, when they get the bait, that a hood will come down and catch them. So it works to their natural instincts of uh, going down alleyways. Now right in the middle, right there is their infrared sensor. When I move my fingers in front of there, you'll see how it works. It just comes along and when that sensor comes off, that hood comes down, it comes down pretty quick and it catches them. And then they'll enter through this little trap door back here and uh, reset the whole trap and it'll go up. This has lithium ion batteries in there and they recharge the little switches in the back here on off. And uh, I really wanna see how this works. I'm gonna go set this up in the barn that has a huge problem with squirrels. The ground squirrels are wreaking havoc in there. I've been trapping them with the snap traps but they're getting a little leery of it. So I'll see if a new trap design works. We'll see if we can catch some squirrels with this black cat infrared rat trap. Now my one concern is that it's kind of lightweight. So once it catches a squirrel, that hood comes down, uh, the squirrels might shift around and might be able to get under the hood. I don't know, we'll test it out. I'm hoping that they come through here and are caught in the cage. I've also had a barn that has rats and mice and the mice were the first to come. The mice are small, but they're still big enough to set off the sensor. So I was catching mice, but it wasn't resetting the trap when they go to the back cage. They're not big enough to trip the little mechanisms. Let's go set up this trap and uh, see how well it works on real animals, ground squirrels specifically. Well, that didn't take any time at all. I set up the trap in the barn this morning. There's a ton of ground squirrels in there doing a bunch of damage. And I came back about a half an hour later and we already got a big old squirrel in there. It came along the wall to get that bait and when it went in front of that infrared sensor, that hood came down very quickly and caught it. The biggest downfall with this trap is it's kind of lightweight. So an animal as big as a squirrel could move around quite a bit, but it did not lift this up and get out. It went through that trap door and now it's caught in the back part here of the cage. Since this is a live animal trap, we're gonna release it. So you just lift up the little cage there, and I'm gonna open up the little hood door and let him go. This squirrel definitely wants to get out, so once he finds out that's the way out, he'll go. There he goes. We're a long ways from any buildings, so he's out in the wild and won't do any more damage. 